Since getting here, I've gotten into a routine. I wake up at about 6.30, 7 o'clock, go outside, and start my day. It starts off by me journaling for about 15 to 20 minutes while the sun rises. Unfortunately, the sun rises behind me, so I'm unable to see it, but I still like to enjoy the mornings the best I can, looking at the clouds, the water, the palm trees, and then after that, it's off to Kate's house for breakfast. Hey, good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Nothing. I eat eggs in the morning, and I've never been a big fan of bacon, but the kind of bacon they have here is actually pretty good. My parents always cooked it really crisp, like burnt, basically. I don't dig that kind of style, so eggs and bacon it is. Okay, so now that I got my breakfast, I gotta be over there at eight o'clock. It is currently 7.57, so I have to down, I gotta down these eggs and some water pretty quick. The rest of the day is probably just gonna be working. On the boat, whenever we turn a generator on, it kind of vibrates the whole boat and it's like a And here, we just experienced an earthquake. I've never felt an earthquake before. I was going back to Kate's place. I was just walking and we were like, whoa. And the ground started shaking and it, it sounded loud. And the first thought that came to my head is that there's no way they have a generator big enough to shake this and sound that loud. And so, yeah, it was an earthquake and they get those quite often here, especially during this time of the year. Groceries, let's go. Getting groceries is something of an adventure because you never know exactly what you're gonna get and you gotta make do with what the stores have. I didn't film too much because these guys, a camera's pretty foreign to them. So, a little while later. Oh my gosh, we're gonna crash. So this is JJ. Uh, and me and him, we're kind of work buddies now. We like, he tells me, he knows what to do. I just tag along basically. And then once we're doing some electrical stuff here, we got wires to fix. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go for a kite. Yes, sir. Let me show you guys what we're doing actually right now. This house, they call them Follies. F-A-L-E, they pronounce it like Farley. Farley. Which is weird, I don't get it. This one is experiencing power problems. We're having to fix the power on it. It's pretty simple stuff, very tedious. And so that's what we're doing. And then once we're done, we're gonna go for a little kite board, yes? Yes. Yes. So we've been dreaming about all day, going uh -huh. for a kite. So Jay, how did you come about knowing how to do all of this? Without getting electrocuted, I'm still figuring that part out. Getting electrocuted, you just keep licking the cables until you either fry yourself kind of thing or it works and you just don't question your your dude where are you from because you have an accent holy man hey! i was born in the states but um i've lived here in tonga my whole life we uh my parents are both british and yeah we just moved to to tonga when i was three and my sisters are two and one enough the chit chat we wanted to finish this project because we could feel the wind was just pumping we wanted to get out there, so we rushed it up and got it done. Okay, project is done. Now, now it's time, time for the kite. I gotta suit up. Oh my god, it's really gussy. Oh, I got a loop for it! Okay. Woo! Even though it's cloudy, it's still a whole lot of fun! Watch this! the 
balls to send it. Uh. Hey guys, let's uh, for some reason or another, so for some reason, my body has decided to contract some sort of illness that's been going around. First, uh, Lily and Bella got it, and now it's me. I don't know if Kate had it or not. Yeah, the night before the day, last night was a freaking nightmare. I, I woke up yesterday and I was feeling okay. I was like, okay, well, I'm, you know, I'm not feeling too hot. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I'll probably feel better. Come lunchtime, I was out of it. I, it was a struggle for me to focus and even stand. It was the weirdest thing. And uh, so yeah, last night was a struggle to get some sleep. I took a bunch of naps yesterday. Uh, like I said, sleeping was hard. And today, I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. That's for sure. I still have a super sore throat. It like, my legs hurt. It hurts to walk. I don't know how to explain it. It's in the knees. I want to go on a little rant here for a moment about how I've adjusted to Tonga in this place. Matafanua, that's the name of this place. If you're tired of hearing me yap and ramble on and skip to the 12 minute mark of this video, that's when I stop and wrap it up. So yeah, without out of the way, enjoy. <sighs> it's been difficult. It has not been, it has not been an easy thing to do this. It's day six right now. And on day three, I felt like it was at the worst because I'd be doing work and I'd be working here and doing stuff and I would just, I, I would feel really emotional. I'd feel sad, I'd feel down. I'd be like, dude, what am I doing? I miss my family. I miss Mackenzie. Why did I sign up to do this? When I'm out there working, I'm like, okay, just don't worry about it. It'll be okay, just do your work. You know, just don't worry about it. I'm not trying to push it down. I'm not pushing it down. I'm not letting it, you know, sit down there in that deep part of my soul and fester. As cliche as it sounds, I'm kind of just accepting it and kind of feeling it like, okay, you know what? I do feel like ass right now. I do feel sad. I do feel emotional. I feel like I've got that, you know, the wedge in my throat and like I'm about to cry. It's hard for me because I want to be tough and I want to say to myself, Jack, You've got the ocean out your back door. You've got the sky and the sun. You've got the trees and the grass. You've got the dirt in between your toes and the sand you can run on and all these different things to be grateful about. You don't need to be sad right now. Like I said, it's day six, so I'm feeling significantly better than I was a couple days ago. I think that could have something to do with Mackenzie. Me and her have been talking a lot and she's, uh, yeah, she would say the same thing. She would say something like, Jack, it's okay to feel down. It's okay to feel that. You should let, you should just feel that for a minute. And so, you know, I, I hate that because I want to be tough and I want to be <clears throat> a man. And I'm still trying to figure out what it means to be a man. And I know men are tough and I'm still trying to balance the line and find that line of what does it mean to be tough and does being emotional take away from you being tough and all these different things like I know there's time and place it's not the time and place to get emotional on a boat when you're taking people diving that's not the time and place to you know break down in tears it's okay that I'm feeling emotional and that I have been feeling emotional it's okay because I know that it'll pass I'm not gonna feel this way in a week from today, in a month from today, in six months from today. I think the biggest takeaway from all this, you know, trying to get into the flow of Mata Fenua, the resort here, trying to get to know all the people here, feeling alone, and having my sister here, like, she's the only person I really know here. And she's off doing her own thing. So I think the biggest takeaway from all this newness it, it, <clears throat> being mature and being a man, it isn't not falling down. 
It isn't not being emotional and feeling down and getting sad about stuff. It's not knowing, oh, well, I know exactly how to handle this. Oh, I never mess up. I never have to feel like that because I know exactly what to do. It's about what do you do after you've fallen down? What do you do when you do feel emotional and sad? Being mature is knowing how to recover from these things and knowing that it'll pass. Because I've found the hard way. I mean, I think it's not even the hard way. It is the way. I've found that I fall down a lot. I trip and I stumble a lot and it hurts and it doesn't feel good. But it's not, you know, the knowing of how not to trip and how to do that. It's about how to pick myself up. And how many hits can I take and can I still bring myself to say, you know what? I still got it in me. I can still keep going. This isn't the end. So, yeah, that's me putting my emotions out there. That's me putting, you know, getting vulnerable again. That's how I've been feeling the past few days. <sighs> I didn't think I'd feel this homesick, but apparently I have. And, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and... Talk about it. Little did you guys know that today is June 4th. It is Kate's birthday today. We've made a cake and we're gonna sing happy birthday. It's gonna be good. I'm walking by her house right now. I can't tell you guys how many times I've walked up and down this road. And remember I was saying how it was kind of gravelly and coarse. My feet have calloused up a little bit but it still hurts to walk on it and it doesn't feel good <laughs> we gotta redo that okay uh, that is just bad yeah. this is the golf cart the best mode of transportation on the island So what we're doing right now is just gathering sticks for something of a beach bonfire for Kate's birthday because that's what she wanted to do. So that's what we're going to do. We found a nice spot on the beach. I think it'll work. T. He thinks it'll work. Come on, Bella. <laughs> Can't seem to start a fire, though. I know, right? I'll take you out. No, don't do that. Oh, whoa, bro. That's it. Go, go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's it. That's got it. I think that worked pretty well, Jamie. Oh, yeah, it does the job. We all enjoyed the fire, talked amongst ourselves. It's kind of a ritualistic thing to build a fire on the beach, but it's time for Kate's birthday cake. Let's do it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Now, I tried my best to film everything that was going on, but the light on my camera is really bright, so I tried to keep it down. I only wanted to film Kate, really, because, well, this is her day. The reason we didn't light the candles is because we couldn't. It was too windy on the so beach, so even. when we tried, Listen, they would just blow out. With my cutting? A little bit, yeah. I can't, um, I could not do that. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.